Ooh. Sharp from the start. Aura with his forehand. Which he needs to do, then he can start having. I'm in awe of how hard they're hitting the ball and the court coverage and the accuracy. And they've been around the game a long time. And when you get down at court level, sometimes you forget how hard these guys hit it. It's 20% harder than it looks on your screen at home. For that either. They are pummeling the ball. Oh. And this was a good serve. And this is a return that Federer uses very well. Not many players do it now. The chip return. Wow. Yeah, and there's the break. Broken to love. No signs of it. Federer puts the first set in his pocket. One break of serve, 6-3. Boom. Oh. Trying to jam him, and Marat didn't. Any problem. Oh, got him. Wow. Above 30. And... What a sharp lob. It's so no, low and it. fast. Federer didn't have time to react to it. Isn't this what's so good about this man? The power, the brawn, and then all of a sudden some deft touch. Oh! Mm, and that time Federer does a better job of jamming Safin. Mirka looking 40, on. 30. She sees that forehand time and time again. The quality of this man's tennis. Oh man, that's <laughs> incredible. Impressive. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Federer with the angle. Rips it across. I finish Federer. And this, he takes it so early, and look how short it is in the box. It's almost like a mini tennis shot that you would practice. And that, uh, at deuce. Oh! Hmm. I'm going to guess this ball was good because Federer was moving already as after the ball hit to the deuce court. Yep, that's good. Ah, Jim, you're onto it. Well, Federer was onto it. Yep. <laughs> players, Two great minds. Yeah, players are leading indicators. They know what they see, and uh, uh, he, he recognized that was an ace. One break point saved. Federer gets yeah. the break with a ripping backhand. He's on top at 3-2 in the second. In the second. Well, from a strategy standpoint, 
you know, Safin doesn't have really much of an option. Of Roger goes for that little trick shot to please the crowd. I mean, Marin, you can see in his face and in, in his shot selection now, he's really struck. Got him. Start again. <laughs> Roger's laughing at that one, Chris. Two perfect lobs so in this game. Two. He's found his range. Ridiculous volleys I've ever seen, Chris. <laughs> Look at the angle on this. <laughs> and it's just the sting has gone out of that ball. He stops it dead. And they called it out. He's going to challenge. No. It. Oh, yeah. I bet oh, you the lines close. person had no oh, idea. No, he's close. He's close. He's hard to make a judgment. Whatever. He's I mean, there's no way the lines person was ready for that one. You could have never seen it coming. Oh, oh, is it out? Be in. Oh, jeez, oh, no. I really wanted that in. He's been beaten <laughs> by three millimeters. Man. Jim, it was that's almost the best volley you've ever oh, seen. Oh, my God, almost. almost. Now, that's where it's the category. Almost the best volley <laughs> I've ever seen. It's double one in that category, okay? <laughs> He'll give us more, don't worry. Wow. We'll get some more. That was nice. Go! Mr. Savinchai, you look on our left here, side. Ball was called out. It's the same lines person, so Marat just wants to get right back in his face. <laughs> Let's see if he gets a little revenge. Oh, he does. <laughs> 40, 30. Now, we're getting some entertainment out here as well, aren't we? We're seeing fabulous tennis, but... <laughs> this is good. Now, this game is just looking at notch here, Jim. Yes. What a point. And how taking this one early. Federer guesses correct and. Second switch. Federer on the verge of a two sets lead. Well, it was a great return, but Federer has too many answers for the moment. Oh, he's in full flight, isn't he? He's just attacking. To see, the Olympic medal means so much to him. really epitomized the Olympic spirit for him. Mm. So coming from, from the boss of the whole thing. Oh, it, was, it was a wonderful moment to see him share it with Vavrinka, who potentially could be his opponent in the next round, too, if Federer gets through, which he you know, geared himself up for this tournament. Oh. Oh, that's just awesome. Talked about the way he was moving and just... Have a look at the way he runs onto this forehand. Immediately, bang, two big steps. Powerful steps.
All I can say is that this brings a smile to your face. 15, 30. Unless your name is Marat. Even then, I think he'd appreciate it. Maybe yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> when he watches it. <laughs> Since 99 here. Federer's forehand is booming in that point. Wow, great shot. Stop and holds for 3-2. Boom. And that is superb from the Russian. Well, you have to be careful when you're playing yes. Safin with that shot because his backhand down the line is money. So if you're going there, if you're going to try and get an inside-out forehand on him, you better get him moving almost to the point where he has to put a one-handed... Oh, he got it. <laughs> he had a huge smile on his face even before the ball was dead then. Saffin. Fortino. Kind of crawled up the frame of the racket. I don't know if you call that good touch or just good luck, good management. Set up though by a great forehand. Look at the racket just wobble. Well, the defense is just extraordinary from better from the fans. Saffin's up to it. He leads 5-4. Third set. Be a set point. Adam? Please. Please. That is absurd defense. Firstly, to be able to get to the ball, 50. and then secondly, to be able to have the strength and racket head control to flick it and get the ball down below the net. Oh, that's nice. A little elevation from 15, the last two 15. points. Federer comes up with a ridiculous passing shot in this, a very solid and relatively safe spinning backhand. Lands just inside. First service. Comfortable there for Federer. Ah, oh, what defense off the forehand, the squash shot. All right, Chris Dittmar, former world squash champion, would have been pleased with digging that one out of the wall in the corner. Federer. Look at this one. Just nothing else left, but could control that with incredible accuracy. Football. Oh my goodness, first time of the match, and that means it's a double fault, and it's a center linesman calling it. 
which means that one of his feet was across the center line. We'll have to take a look at this right from behind if we can. What an awful time for that linesman to come into the match, but if it was a football, it was a football. He's asking why would he do that? And swallowing hard, isn't he, the, the linesman? That's that back right foot, which if it starts across the line, it is a foot fault. So that was what the call was. And that angle does not show it clearly enough for us. I really like watching his face here. Yeah, it was well long. But Federer's face is showing a lot about how he's feeling. He used to disguise that well. So letting us into his head a lot more these days. Challenge here. No, good serve. Four all. Safin has climbed back in courtesy of Nace and two bad misses from Federer. Some unforced errors out of the blue. Mm, boy, he's tight. No doubt about it, Todd. Federer is tight. Way to level with the ninth ace. Oh. Right out to the forehand and a big come on as Federer sets up match point. signs from those guys at the end of the match but what a finish from Federer two big serves and then the backhand impressive stuff Todd well first two sets were flawless the third did tighten up a little bit but when it got down to the crunch he comes through with the Federer-esque style of brilliance 